Today's episode is all about first date fibs. I'm so down to like camp for that's, 20 days straight. That's like, so you know what true. I mean? Like, cool, but also kind of deceitful. That is you think true. In your, that story just needs this. That is a doozy. I told him I would be right back. I went to the kitchen and housed two hot dogs. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's Sarah and Lo Beeston, your Fairly Odd Sisters. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back to Welcome the back. Fairly Odd Sisters. We really need like a but up up. Well, we have our tune, like a little jingle That's, right before. That you already heard that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> we need some sort of need song, <laughs> some sort of something zest. <laughs> we don't hear it, but they do. You baby. know what we really do need? What? Redo of those photos. <laughs> We really do. We've changed quite a I bit. I know since that then. you see that like slow mo. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh -huh. if you're listening, this doesn't apply to you. Ding. But like this, <laughs> and it's just our it's old the pictures, old, old photos. I'm so sorry we haven't taken new photos yet. It was hilarious when we both changed our hair color, and I was red, and mm -hmm. then you were blonde, and then you went. We just yep. have been so different lately. Do, do, do. I'm back to the original, so nothing. Yeah, you're really, back to the OG. Nothing really changed for me. You're back to the OG girl. We need to do that. Also. Halloween is coming up. Ooh. Just your friendly reminder, if you haven't got on your costume orders, you should probably do that now. Yes. <laughs> and should we give them, ooh, we should give them some good ideas, like couples ideas for ooh. Halloween costumes. Yeah. Should we say what we've been in the past? Yeah, sure. I feel like that yeah. would give yeah, some if... like insight into what they yeah, should yeah, do. Okay, yeah. so from the top, from when Tanner and I started dressing together. Literally, we were, how do you remember this? Because I literally am obsessed since the I beginning. I am too, but I'm like having a hard time remembering. Well, as I go, I think I remember yours too. Okay, let's each say a year. Okay, we'll so remember. when Tanner were first, Tanner and I were first married, day of Halloween, right? And I'm like, no, day of Halloween party that we're throwing. Mm -hmm. Have no idea. And I'm like, you know what we should be? hamburglar and a hamburger so tanner was a hamburger Amazing. and i was a hamburglar and that was really iconic that's really because creative. he was just like a giant hamburger that's amazing <laughs> it was a it looked like a little burglar that hamburger. is that is so much better what was, than our what costume. was your first costume together i don't think we weren't married yet either you we, guys were barbie and ken right mm, oh we had two oh no no, no, no. okay yes we were Barbie and Ken back you when- You were Barbie and Ken back, before it was before cool. Before it was cool. Before it was oh. cool. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> See, I know. Back in my old apartment. Yeah, Barbie and Ken. Because he had the Ken costume and I was like, you know, I have blonde hair. Might as well he do it. He had a Ken costume already? He had a Ken costume. Why? He was Ken with another girl. Oh. At a dance. It's okay. You're the new Barbie. Ah, yeah. I'm the upgraded. <laughs> he likes I'm version blondes, I guess. 2.0. <laughs> Barbie 2.0 over here. No. It was, yeah, I forgot. He had went to a dance and he was Ken. And Girl, he's like, I have really that. Funny. And I was like, he's I like, can find. So I can repurpose this date outfit. Yes, and then I went and got like a pink sparkly That's dress amazing. from Forever 21. And yeah. we, we made it happen. So yep. that was our first one. The costume. OG Barbie right what here. What was your next one? It got worse after that for really? us. Really? And then better. It, yeah. But. Okay. So then this, it was the first year that we lived in Hawaii. And so we didn't have very many resources when it came to um, costume. And so I just used what I had in my little closet and I was Wednesday in your tiny closet in my tiny little like, closet. And I was Wednesday? like, I have a black dress. Wednesday? So I was Wednesday before, before Wednesday, Wednesday was, was cool. cool. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm ahead of we the curve. We are slaying I'm these. I'm sorry. The next Literally. one for me is not a slave. Ahead but of the curve. Going. So I was Wednesday and Tanner was the guy that like splits the hair. Oh What's his gosh. name? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. He has I like the that. middle. Oh. Tippity toops. <laughs> um, he has like the middle part. I don't know. I don't. Remember we just were them, and I did the braids, and I was blonde then, so it really didn't make sense. But I had the black dress, so <laughs> that's great. That's what I was. That's what were amazing. you that year? Yeah, this one is the first not iconic one. Well, okay. Well, you uh, Derek went through a phase of hating Halloween. I remember you guys didn't dress peak. up, and it was so weird. This and was we were his like, peak. Uh, I was a Teletubby. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Before it was cool. Before it was cool. Now the, Teletubbies no, revamped. Now no. they're going to be cool next year. I was a Teletubby because his parents 
he was anti-Halloween, so we never got costumes. And I was like, this is sad. Like, I want to dress up. <laughs> you were and we alone. were invited to a costume party. And I was like, we cannot be those people that show up with nothing. Didn't so he not dress up and you dress up? <laughs> he dressed up as Dennis, the guy that lives in his head. We Anyway, it's such a long story, but we tell Derek oh, he has hilarious. this little man that makes him do crazy things in his head. And his name is Dennis. And yeah. he dressed up as Dennis for Halloween. That's actually good. That photo will forever haunt me of me being a Teletubby. But that's actually pretty iconic. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah. But his mom's not like, a I cost- have a Teletubby Hey, costume. if you're looking for a couple costume, you could always dress up as a Teletubby and Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> a Teletubby. <laughs> if you tagged me in that, <laughs> I would, I was a yellow Teletubby. I would actually lose my mind. That would because be that so is, funny. Just picture your own Dennis. Yeah. Whatever you picture Dennis to be. Yeah. I'm sorry if your name is Dennis, by the way yeah it just is what it is okay anyway that was your next year um so then after that is when i started taking into my own hands and really putting together the this costume. is our halloween together this is our halloween together mm-hmm. and i was like you know what i really want to be xenon mm-hmm. and i was pregnant at the time love xenon yeah and i love xenon and i really wanted tanner to be protozoa we might have a lot that, of that the old the i think we might have some younger people that are listening you need to watch xenon if you haven't seen xenon xenon z3, xenon z3 is crazy it goes hard um, no xenon it's a one Disney is so channel good. movie that yes. was back in the day so good back in our childhoods mm-hmm. and it was literally everything and more and protozoa was one of my first crushes mm-hmm. Zoom, 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 Those little ice tips. Go, boom, boom, my supernova girl. So yeah. I really wanted Tanner to be protozoa. Beautiful. And yeah. then I was um, pregnant, Xenon, because protozoa got me pregnant. Yeah. So that's a really good couple's costume. Yeah. My outfit really went hard. Great. I found everything at DI yep. and I spray painted Tanner's DI jacket. Yeah, we silver. went in. Didn't I went we hard. We went, it wasn't DI because we were in Hawaii. It was, it was, it was yeah, a yeah, thrift store, a thrift whatever store it's in called. Hawaii, but yeah. 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 I always call we it went DI. Together, and people are like, what every, is that? Every store. I'm sorry. Every thrift store to you is DI. Is DI. <laughs> it's a thrift store or a donation center here in Utah. Yes. If you're wondering. Um, that year we went with Tanner and Lauren and we were... Betty and um Betty and Boop. Betty and Jughead. Jughead. Jughead and Betty. Yeah, that was yeah, that was in the heat of good Jughead and Betty. So yeah. it was really great. That, that was good because Riverdale had just came Riverdale. Riverd- <laughs> Why did I say that? Riverdale. Riverdale. <laughs> Riverdale had just come out and everyone was raving yes. about it. Uh-huh. Derek had wanted to have the black wig he on. He almost so. dyed his hair for this. But then he regretted he the wig it. because he's like, wigs are the worst thing in my life, and yeah. they truly are. But yeah, that's that's what we were that year yeah that was funny and Betty and then and then the next year what was I the you next had year? Ozzy didn't you yeah you had Ozzy the next year oh this so was, was your first this costume was one of my favorite Ozzie. costumes yes. we did we did Stranger Things and um Tanner I you I usually do like a lookalike for Tanner because mm-hmm. he has so many like lookalikes mm-hmm. but we did um Billy from Stranger mm-hmm. Things and um Mrs. Wheeler and we recreated that scene yes. in Stranger Things where she's at the pool and Billy's like, hey, Mrs. Wheeler, looking yeah. good or whatever. Yeah. And that was so good. That was a fave. And we dressed Ozzy up as um, Max, yes, the redheaded girl. So it was so cute. Oh, Ozzy looks so scrumptious. She's a little, photo. she looks like a cabbage patch doll she because does. of the wig, she the long really, hair really wig. Did. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was that year. Um, let me think. You, that, wait, you hadn't had Jack yet. No oh wesley oh my we did have jack he was two Wait, weeks old are you sure this was he, jack he time? was two weeks old because ozzy was like just nine. a little girl like a tiny baby <sighs> are you sure I, no because you did wesley two years in a row because that's what it was <gasps> yes this is actually you were wesley so and buttercup two years in a row because, because the next year you had, had jack. jack this is so this is crazy. It's funny that I know this like better than you. I know. <laughs> Wesley and Buttercup. I, I have erased it. I love Halloween and I love buying costumes. This, how did I forget this? We got in a car accident. We never got to like, yes. wear our, we were in our Wesley and Buttercup from Princess Princess Bride mm-hmm. outfits, like the mm-hmm. full red dress. He was in the, the black shirt yes. and the bandana, everything. Mm-hmm. We were driving to go to a haunted house on Halloween yes. with all our friends in That's- Hawaii. And literally a car pulled out right in front of us and we swerved and hit a pole in yeah. our truck and totaled I remember our truck. That. We and can't, wait, didn't we come back and get you? No, we, we, yeah. so or no, you we got, went and oh, no, got their car and then we, that's right. we ended up still going, but our car was totaled. Yes. And we were on the, the side of the road in our Wesley and Buttercup outfits. 
after a crash. <laughs> How did it's I not funny, but it's like funny no, now. now it's funny. It was like and not then, funny then. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next year we had Jack two, two weeks. weeks before how October 17th. So yeah. And was, you were in the thick of it with Jack. We were like in the not thick of sleeping, it, not getting a costume. You were just like, there's, I'm not being something no. different. So we <laughs> repurposed that costume and amazing. then we put Jack in a black swaddle and a black little head and he matched Derek a little so hat So good. What were you that year? What were we this year? This we were thriving in that year. We that were year hanging we were on by thriving. by a string. No, what were we? Oh, that was the year we were in Utah for Halloween, mm-hmm. and we were um, Monsters Inc. Ozzy was yes. the cutest boo ever, and Tan- so I was Mike Wazowski, yes. and Tanner yes. was Sully. Yes, that's what we so, were. So so cute. That was that year. Mm-hmm. And then what were you doing the year after? Oh, but that year we also <laughs> did for our scene video, like for our video. I had Tanner learn, Tanner and I learned the like Mamma Mia scene mm, from Mamma Mia 2 and Tanner was Bill and I was, what's her name? Donna. I was yes. Donna. Yes. And we did that little boat scene and that was pretty iconic. Yes. Because he also looks like him. Yes. Yeah. We do a lot of Tanner lookalikes. Um, but that's always like a good couple's costume is the Monsters Inc. trio. But mm-hmm. that couple's costume, Bill and Donna is really good too. Especially yeah. if you're in a warm place. Yes. The next year we were you guys a gladiator and I let Derek do this year. Oh yeah, oh, you we were trying two. to be We had two that year. We were um Avatar the Last Airbender before the Netflix show came out. I before was, before <laughs> the Netflix show was made, but anyway, he was Avatar's Zuko. always been cool. Let's I, be I real. painted like the scar on his face. Mm-hmm. He was Zuko. This is the animated one, not the blue people. Yeah. Um and then I was a waterbender, Katara, and yep. then Jack was little Aang. Yeah, that's it was so cute. The cutest costume he's ever been in or yeah. will ever be in. It yeah. Was, it was that's a good my one. favorite year, I think. Avatar The Last Airbender is good. Yes. The next year I had the scene that we did was Loki and Thor. Mm. And because Tanner looks like Loki, but at the time he had this huge beard. So then I had him bounce between like having a beard, no beard. I <laughs> shave for it. Remember? Oh my gosh, I was yes. so grateful because I was like not a fan of the beard. Yes. So he had to shave it. But um, we did that. And I was uh, freaking the sister of Thor, the evil sister. I was her. And oh, yes. Ozzy was she a mini. Has, like the spider thing coming Yes. Out. Ozzy was a mini Thor with mm-hmm. a hammer, like a woman yes. Thor. What was Stella in that? Was Stella born? Yeah. She was a tiny baby. Because that's the year that I dressed her up as Dot as well. Stella mm-hmm. was that year. She was this little dot, the f- dot from Ants. Bugs Life. Bugs Life. Thank you. Ants. Gosh, she was the dot from <laughs> Bugs Life because she's always been dot. Yeah. Yes. So we did that as well. I feel like that's that a good was, costume for family. Yeah. We were um, Brad Pitt and Helen from Troy yes. the year after. Yeah. Because that's what Derek picked. He wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. So we did that and Jack just wore like a little... Gladiator something. Yeah, gladiator costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, the next year, Tanner and I scene we did Twilight, which is near and dear to my heart because Twilight is just the best movie of all time and and mm-hmm. saga. So shut mm-hmm. up, Robert Pattinson, for always bashing it and and whatever. Oh like gosh. I love it so much, yes. and it always is going to be everything to me. So we recreated the scene where she says. I know what you are or oh yes say yes out loud and out so we loud. recreated that scene and it was amazing it was everything to me that is and then as our family iconic. costume what were we because we were something else for the oh we did frozen because Ozzy always wants to be Elsa yes so we did frozen mm-hmm. for the family costume yes we're getting closer in the years and I don't remember so you were, um, the f- you find- know, no, no, oh you were the, okay, Don- was- you're the do- Scooby-Doo. Yes. Okay. That was the year that Jack, we let him pick and he, and he, wouldn't he loved his on. Scooby-Doo treats that he would eat every yeah. day. And we let him watch the show, part of the episodes, the old ones. And he loves Scooby-Doo. And I said, you want to be scooby He said, yeah, I got so excited. So we literally planned our costume around that. I was pregnant Daphne and I put on the red wig and this is 
what sparked a lot of the like red red because i had wanted to and then everyone's like you look so good with red hair but that was kind of the beginning of like oh my gosh even though it was like orange basically so derek was fred i was daphne Mm -hmm. and he was supposed to be scooby but the pictures are just him screaming holding his costume (laughs) i remember that because i was taking the photos (laughs) so heather was oh wait no outside our house i was wait i was there though right i think you were oh i got there right after yeah we went went trick-or-treating together oh wow but yes so funny good times um and then the year after that was that last year yeah yes we were barbie and ken and so was derek and sarah but we never posted our videos i i posted mine with you You posted with us but we we filmed four videos we never posted wait you and derek four tiktoks we like didn't post because we were like it's too far after halloween like shut (laughs) up you never posted as barbie and ken no well i think we did one no we did one but we didn't post four of oh, them oh wild like, i'm not even kidding we went hard on them and then we just didn't post what them because that's we were crazy like, yeah so that was yeah. yeah so both of us were barbie and, and ken, which was really fun we were tangled that oh that's right too. and then um the girls dressed up i had them a little barbie costume for them but they yes, wanted to be princesses so while trick-or-treating so they were princesses yes and tanner and i were barbie and ken so good so this year what are you gonna be this year I can't say. Surprise? I can't say yet. Surprising? I have to reveal it with my usual movie scene. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. And so, anyway, we'll have a movie scene that Tanner yes. and I will do. And then we also have a family costume that I'm really excited about. <laughs> Wait, you didn't even tell me what you two are being as a couple. So no. you have three costumes? No, I have we're two. doing one. What do you mean? Oh, because, yeah, I do. You have three because costumes. Sarah and I are going to dress up as well. Yes, yeah, we I are. Have, I Next love Halloween. Week. But I love to do the, like, movie scene. Yes. The movie scene one is just, like, I love it. Just it just makes it fun. Yeah. And then yeah. I love to do... Like I usually base like the next one around like whatever Ozzy wants to be, mm-hmm. like what the they want to be. The family costume always has to be what the kid wants, which is so funny because we do that, but then Jack hates it anyway. So maybe like, I should just decide. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, Lo and I were sitting here and we were talking about our hair, and she said something that I cannot repeat right here. But she basically she's shedding a lot. I'm shedding, and I had to throw out the. Nutrafol might be her best friend because it really is. I have been taking Nutrafol on and off since we moved to Hawaii. So this has been a seven year thing for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I started taking it after I had Jack because I noticed my hair was thinning and shedding because of that postpartum, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I got on a regular schedule taking the Nutrafol and it was amazing. My hair started coming in more full around my face mm-hmm. and I even, I, I just honestly like you felt kept more hair. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it like in return made me feel better just because I felt like I looked better and my hair was growing back. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand. It's trusted by over 1 million people. So you can see the thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding in just three to six months. So yeah. if you're taking this, just keep in mind that you need to be consistent with it because that's when I started seeing results was around that four month mark yes. for me. Mm-hmm. Everyone's root causes of thinning hair are different. So it's not a one size fits all. And that's why Nutrafol is amazing because they have so many different options. Um, if you're going through menopause, postpartum, prenatal, anything that you're going through, they have like the right fit for you. Honestly, though, when someone recommends like a supplement to me, I am a little bit more hesitant because I don't know what's in it. But I can assure you that it's physician formulated with 100 percent drug free ingredients. So you don't have to worry about what's in it because it's all good things. Um, and Nutrafol supplements support healthy hair growth from within by targeting those root causes of thinning. Things like stress, hormones, aging that are all part of just being a woman, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Nutrition, lifestyle, metabolism, yeah, all the all things. Of it. So that you can actually get the results you can run your fingers through. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code FAIRLYODD. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and stylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com spelled n-u-t-r-a-f-o-l dot com promo code fairly odd that's neutrafol.com promo code fairly odd anywho okay well those are our those costumes are some ideas. so some some ideas there and maybe you'll see us in costumes coming up here if you watch the youtube yeah. part of it i guess if you <laughs> don't i know we'll post it on our our instagram account yeah. and everything yeah um 
But yeah, as far as uh, pop culture goes, I feel like there's... I feel like the talk right now is all Dancing with the Stars, which I'm yes, a lot of Dancing with the Stars. Seeing the highlights, I'm Joey. not watching religiously, but Joey definitely, obviously, is a favorite. I think for everybody, right? He's a he's a big fan fave. I think he's just so genuine, he's so, so sweet, genuinely nice, and Kelsey and is so genuinely nice. I think nice Stephen and, he... and Riley are another fave, oh, yes, because they're just really wholesome. Mm-hmm. But um, did you hear? Did say? you hear the last episode though with the kiss guy? Did you hear about what that? kiss guy? The old guy that used like to that. be the lead, yeah, with the tongue, yeah. Okay, he's he on was, it right now. He was a judge on oh. the episode, and he's getting under so much Why? fire and heat right now because apparently he was like, I didn't watch the episode, so maybe this isn't true, but it's all over the news and what? TikTok. But he was getting under heat for like being kind of creepy towards the girl dancers on oh, the really? show, like when he was talking about them, like weird kind of sexual oh. comments. And just is getting blasted right now. Oh, so that's, no. you know, that's happening. I didn't watch Dancing that episode. Stars, but yeah, I think he like said some weird stuff to like Whitney Carson or I don't oh, know no. because I didn't actually see it. But this is what I hear. Oh, eek. eek. Scary, scary yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, I yeah. think he's just like maybe a little old. And, yeah. Like he's 75. Yeah. And just like Mimi doesn't know the line or something. Yeah. doesn't <laughs> know that there's a line there yeah. that can't be crossed. Um. Yeah, I think that I just saw Jenna actually on a podcast. Jenna is Joey's partner. Yes. And um, there's a lot of people talking about like their chemistry and like the way they dance together. (sighs) And they always make it like they pin, they try and pin people against each other. And Jenna's married. like happy relationships. Yeah, Jenna's married to another pro and has a baby with him. And Joey is engaged to Kelsey and they're very happily engaged. And I think that she, like I just Lay saw it on a podcast because they were like, how do you like separate that? Because these are positions that can be sexual. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like yes. the dancing positions can oh, get yeah. like crazy. I mean, yeah. And it's like, how do you not like get like catch, as the person a feeling or, yeah, something. or like as a person that's dating somebody or married to somebody that has to watch it? Like, how do you make that navigate it, navigate that? And she was just saying like for her she's been doing this with a male like another male dancer since she was 10 and so like she's very desensitized to what affect her it's like yeah it doesn't affect her she's like this this is is, doesn't mean anything to me so it's like she just wants to make sure that joey's comfortable and that kelsey's comfortable basically Mm -hmm. and that you know like trying to involve kelsey and all this stuff Mm -hmm. and making it so that's so great like anyway you know i feel like a lot of people always do that like they're kind of doing that with whitney and her partner right now Mm -hmm. and it's just like lay off like, i know she's married has kids like don't start something if there's not anything there. yeah like it's, and i think it's what the the viewers like want it to be well, because something they else look like it's such like, a beautiful couple yeah. together couple uh-huh. in quotations but it's like partners i guess literally she's married and has kids so stop like it's already let's don't ship this yes let's stop shipping <laughs> let's that not ship yes that. it's not like she's a single woman and no. he's a single man because and there like, is that couple gleb and the victoria's secret model yeah. They're fully like kissing and oh. like look like a couple. Right. So like that and, could be how we're not in relationships. We're all for yeah, that. We're all like, for that. Lay off the mom with kids. Please. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Anyway, just go home to her family people. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. stop that. Just and kidding. Whitney's actually so nice. We've yeah, met her a couple really of times like and it's like, she has her head screwed on straight and she's a professional. She's a professional. Just let it be. Okay. <laughs> that's my two cents. Anyway. Okay. Anyways. Um, so today's episode is all about first date fibs. So going Love on those weird it. dates where people just like say things that aren't true, maybe to make themselves sound better or just like because they're stressed or nervous. Or I think we all do it they, like to do an we? extent. Do you have no, no, no. Stuff? I'm just saying like we all do like we even if it's like you bend the truth a little bit based on like what you think they would like oh, in the beginning when oh, you're yeah, like I trying to impress like yes. you're like you yes, say I totally love that. Or like, like you know I'm what I so mean? Out. Like, I'm so down yes. to like camp for that's, 20 days straight. Like, so you know what true. I mean? Like yeah, you try yeah, yeah. and, you try and impress by like what Is you think they would experience? like. experience? Uh, no, I'm just saying like, <laughs> just even with Tanner, cuddled me every time we watched anything. Yeah. And I'm like, you fully tricked me. That's that a first date fib because you were like all cuddly all over me. I am me. like, you are like my little cuddle bug. Oh my gosh. That is <laughs> but so like, funny. You know, things like yeah, that. Totally. I totally can see. Can you recall a time, though, where, where I you, fibbed? like, said something, you're like, oh, shiz, that, like, literally wasn't true? 
Um, not really like yeah. a full flat out lie. Yeah. No, I know I've been on. Some I can't really think of off the top of my weird head. first dates. Yeah, where I'm like, you are. But so like, we strange. don't know if it's a fib at this point. Yeah, and it's know? like if it's the first date and like we didn't like didn't find out if it yeah. was a lie. So I'm so interested to hear some of these. I know because these are coming from the people yes. that have fibbed, right? Yeah, fibbers. Hey, this says doing. you're in for a doozy. My husband, Andrew, and I were a Tinder match, and we had been chatting for a while before we decided to meet up since it was about an hour difference traveling um, between us. I had been hanging out with this other guy, Jake, who was just my friend, and he was getting mad that I was going out to meet this new guy. I made it very clear to him that I wasn't interested in him in that way, and he didn't have the right to tell me who I can meet and told him to politely kick rocks. Well, my lead kick rocks. <laughs> you didn't get the point. Just kidding. This says, while my friend and I were waiting for my date, Andrew, in parentheses, to show up, Jake shows up instead. <sighs> I am so livid. I ask him to leave, but then he, but he then turns and says, I have no right to tell him what to do. Fast forward, my date arrives and we hit it off. We are having a good time. And then he, he asked me about Jake because he's been eyeing us all night. I lied and said he was my brother. <laughs> we both shrug it off. And just when we were about to leave after having a great time, Jake grabs me by the hand and pulls me in and kisses me. No, no, way. no, no. So this, this guy's thinking so this good. girl's girl is kissing her brother on the mat. The, the incest. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no, That's mortified. Insane. I look at Andrew and he is beyond confused. I literally turn and just walk away as fast as I can, thinking I will never see Andrew again. Jake tries to chase me af after me and I tell him to just leave me alone and I drive home. After I cried to my roommate about the best worst first date, I got a text from Andrew. He was so kind and asked if I was okay. We cleared up that Jake was not my brother. Oh my gosh. And I told him that he was just a very jealous person who I had no interest in. Fast forward to now, we've been together for nine years. We are married, have two boys, and are very happy. I ran into Jake one time <laughs> since that night, and he still had feelings. But I was engaged and told him that he needed to move on. <laughs> Haven't heard... <laughs> haven't heard or seen him since love this, this pod thank you oh, oh we love you my gosh that, we love you it. and that story just needs this that is a doozy when that you said was, that that is true that was so funny also the boys that don't get the point when she's like i am not interested in you i'm like not being, interested in you no i don't like you, you that way he shows me like Rrr. and then Rrr. she's on a date and you freaking try and kiss her you kissed her that's kissing that's really bad that's uh, really really bad um, yeah, I'm get so the glad hint. I worked like, out with Andrew. Like Imagine it, being Andrew and being like, that's her freaking brother. Also, that's props so to weird. Andrew for like seeing that yeah. and not just like, you just know, like gross. Yes, but he just obviously was like, obviously making was, sure you're okay. That's yeah. when you knew he was a keeper. And that's probably yeah. why you're still together. Yeah. That's so that's awesome. really sweet. That was amazing. If you want to spark something uncommon this holiday season with incredible handpicked gifts from Uncommon Goods, they make holidays gifting so fun because they have so many unique handmade crafts gifts things on their website that you can pick from and give to your loved ones everything on their site is so cute yeah it's all personalized a lot of it is like she said handmade mm -hmm. so you can get something that not everyone else is getting so it feels more special for that person mm -hmm. and i have looked on their website i've ordered a couple of things i got these cute little personalized dino books for the kids that have their names on it. And I feel like they're going to be so excited. Yes. Jack's just learning how to spell his name. So he'll know that the book is just for him. I found something for me. Yes. There's pickleball paddle, like cases that are so handcrafted. Cute. They are beautiful. Yeah. I've never seen something that I've wanted more. And it's super cool because anytime you make a purchase on Uncommon Goods, they donate a dollar to a nonprofit of your choice. So that's way cool. That is really cool. Yeah. So you're like helping someone while you're getting a gift, yes. while you're making someone happy, yeah. getting them a gift. <laughs> yes. It's amazing. Uh, I just love that these are out of the ordinary, mm -hmm. like very unique gifts mm -hmm. that you can get someone that seems very thoughtful and yeah. meaningful. And they have stuff more for all age groups mm -hmm. and men and women, so many different categories. They have a really great holiday section right now. Mm-hmm. 
So to get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash fairly odd. That's uncommongoods.com slash fairly odd for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer, Uncommon Goods. We're all out of the ordinary. <laughs> this one says, I told my first date that I knew how to longboard because he loves to do that in his free time. That man brought, brought it out the next time I saw him and I busted my ass. But hey, <laughs> but hey, worth it. We're married now. Oh my gosh. That is, that amazing. is so funny. Honestly, like kind of same thing. Like those vibes, like you were saying, like, oh, I love doing that. Yeah. I went long. I did enjoy longboarding at yeah. this point, but that's what we did. Yeah. Like my first four times hanging out with Derek were yeah. longboarding. One was longboarding down the canyon. One yeah. was hiking. He's like, this is the most adventurous outdoorsy human being I've ever dated in my life, which is, I do love the outdoors. <laughs> but again, like Lo said, I'm not, I don't want to camp for 20 days straight. That's mm -hmm. like not, I will camp, but like, it's not super fun. You yeah. Know? It's uh -huh. not like, I, I like the one the, night. I, I enjoy, like the one yes. night camp. And I enjoy the indoors and the outdoors. And mm -hmm. it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Cause he was like, I thought you were the most out outdoorsy girl ever. I was like wearing like a Patagonia hoodie oh, or that's something. Right. And he's like, this is, this girl this is girl outdoorsy. Is crazy. And it was literally my <laughs> roommates. And she's like, wear this. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's really funny actually. Uh, okay. This one says, honestly, out of fear, I told a guy, I thought it was funny when he told me he got arrested and kicked out of like 10 schools. I acted like it was cool. <laughs> I acted like it was cool, but he's now in jail for some crazy crap. <laughs> honestly, to stay safe. It might to not stay be safe in the moment. Honestly, that was probably a good call because oh you don't know why he's now getting he's kicked out of 10 schools. Crazy crap. And like, like, no, literally like, like the sick. fact that us girls kind of have to like be like laughy and he, jokey around like crazy he, scary he, things because you like, you're like don't hurt me <laughs> you're like oh, oh that's funny what'd you do oh my gosh so you don't tell me crazy okay this says i lied and said i was allergic to the flavor of gum he offered me when he wouldn't start the car to bring me home just so i could avoid kissing him he'd been trying all day while we were out oh. to make a move and i just wanted the date to be over asap we never went out again Wait, she told him she, she was allergic she, to gum? Yeah, she was allergic to the flavor of gum. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, actually so funny. That's actually, really I funny. I'm what sorry, I'm allergic good. to that flavor. He pulls out another flavor. He's like, <laughs> I have bubble gum. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> that's good. That's actually funny. Way to go. Way to stick to your guns. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one says, I told my now husband that my mom said she doesn't want me kissing anyone until we've dated for three months. In reality, I had severe relationship anxiety and panicked and it just came out of my mouth. <laughs> I probably made my mom seem like a crazy overprotective lunatic. Then two months later, I came clean about it and my anxiety had gotten better because he treated me with so much love and respect and we laughed about it and then shared our first kiss later Aww. that night. That's really sweet. Now happily married, I still cringe at that because my excuse to not want to kiss yet. Yeah. Wait, this reminds me of my sister actually. What? Because, okay, this is actually crazy. My older sister... Hope she's fine with me sharing this. I think she would be. She decided that when she was younger, she wasn't going to kiss somebody unless she loved them. Like she really wanted to save her kisses for somebody who she like really liked. Mm -hmm. Not even love. Like it was just mm -hmm. like she wanted to not just kiss somebody to kiss someone. She wanted to really have a connection with them and really like them. So she decided that from like 12. She was like, I'm not going to kiss somebody unless I really like them. Yeah. And so it was this huge thing all through high school. Like people be like, are you going to kiss him or kiss him? And she's like, no, I'm just mm -hmm. not interested. Da -da. Yeah. And um, so then she got to college, never been kissed, right? She had never kissed anybody and she meets her now husband and they are getting on so well. She really likes him. She's calling my mom every day. Like my mom's at the time going through divorce, but they're like talking every day. And she's like, I really like him. He makes me feel da da da. And so then all of a sudden my mom gets a call one day and my sister's bawling her eyes out and she's like what happened like did things like not work out with him what what is going on and she's like no he tried to kiss me and i rejected him <gasps> and my mom's like why did you do that and oh. she's like i'm so used to like not Wait, kissing yes. and like rejecting the kiss that like it was just like an instinct and she's like oh and i gosh. really wanted to kiss him Dang. and my mom was like why didn't you kiss him? anyway she ended up 
like she felt like he was never going to want to talk to her again because she was so embarrassed about yeah. like rejecting him. Aww. And then, but it worked, but it out. worked out. They're married. Hey. Just like you guys. No, so that's, <laughs> that's so funny that it's like, blame the mom. Like, I know. like she was like, blame the She's mom. Like, I can't, can't for three months. No, like, literally the no. full lie. But I it ended it. up good on both. Like, that's when you know you have a good guy. If, like you can like have a little weird mess up like that. Yeah. And then like, be like still are two like, months later and they're like yeah. waiting around yeah, for you. That's really waiting. sweet. I just love how you said that because I had severe anxiety and panicked and it just came out. Like, it just came out. So honest and open. I love it. I love that. Okay. This one says not the first date, but the hinge profile, my location, my now husband wanted someone closer. And I told him the end of our first date when he was already in love, he still <laughs> tells people to this day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man. You're like, I, I hear about people doing that. All these fibs that. are like people that like got married though. Yeah, that like, like works there out. Hasn't been That's what like I'm saying a, is like people do it to just like get their foot in the door. Yeah. Make you, you fall really in love. Like, and then like it's like, it's happening boom. if they really like them. As long as you like, tell the truth in the end. Tell the truth always. <laughs> <laughs> like a lie. Um, no. It's funny because I've hear, I hear people doing that a lot. Like on Hinge, they'll move their location because they think that there's more attractive people in a certain city or oh, certain area. That's a thing. I have and then that, you can yeah. match with people in that area. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. Anyway, Very cool, cool, but also kind of deceitful. That is you think true. They're in your area. <laughs> You're like, uh. um, okay. This one says, "I told my new girlfriend that I was a French pastry chef that made croissants. I'm from France, and two years later, she's still wondering when I'm going to be baking up some croissants. So she still you doesn't better know. Just become a croissant just, chef. Just start making them. Just I look up a love recipe. croissants. Croissant. I could eat a croissant croissants every are meal. The ultimate bread so just learn how to make that shiz i want to learn how to make that seriously you should just learn while she's not home she's like where's my french croissant two years later what a patient woman so patient i'm a french pastry chef (laughs) okay this guy wanted to go ice skating so bad and i hate ice skating with a passion and i felt too bad to say no so i told him that my uncle died ice skating so it gives me ptsd we still saw each other at school a year after, and he kept asking me about my dead uncle. I felt so bad, but never <laughs> told him it was a lie. <laughs> that lie is too far. It's too far. Oh my gosh. At least say, like, you watched like, a scary like, movie with an ice skating like, accident. Uh, like, you could say. The fact that he's following up on that. What's like, the chick that got, like, pff, bladed, whacked in oh, her shins? I don't know. Did that Tina. Happen? she got like whatevered oh i didn't know about that. you are shedding like a whore <laughs> i am i know it's because i just sh- i haven't showered and then i it's showered 100 hairs i know i'm so sorry i'll clean this <laughs> vacuum <laughs> i don't know what to do with them <laughs> oh, that's i gotta amazing. vacuum those room after this <laughs> i know it's okay I, i'm shedding we too. haven't had hot water for days and now i finally okay. got a shower so now it's just i know i'm still doing it's okay. it <laughs> it's okay i'm just watching you pull out 100 hairs and doing this um okay oh what was gosh. he saying oh you said that lie was made, like maybe a little bit too far it's a little too far like just <laughs> say that like what's that chick tanya harding scandal just say like you were afraid of that oh. and then boom Tony Harding, she like whacked the yeah yeah. Supposedly yes, she like hurt Nancy. Anyway, oh wow, it was a I it was a whole this, thing. Okay. It was a whole thing. Yes. yes. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, the next one says, on the first date with my now husband, I pretended to like video games. We were playing them together, and I acted like I was really good at them. <laughs> he ended up telling me later on that he obviously knew right away that i did not know anything about video games but he thought it was cute that i was trying so hard (laughs) that's sweet see that's what i mean it's It's like i feel like you're like like, not like lying but you're just like those lies are just funny so it's yeah yeah you're like yeah i totally am totally good at that yeah (laughs) i'm the best in my grade i'm a hardcore gamer okay I was a sophomore in high school and it was the first time my boyfriend came over. We were in the living room hanging out and I told him I would be right back with a snack. I went to the kitchen and housed two hot dogs. (laughs) (laughs) This is so 
so funny. And then I walked back into the living room with a bag of carrots and said, want any carrots? That is the funniest shiz. That is the funniest shiz. Wait, it's why like, is that the best thing I've ever like, read? It's like going on a date like already eaten a full meal like, ho, 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 ho. you like house down six burgers so that you can go on the date and look like you eat really light like that's not so housing weird. so much food that is so funny you're like that's the funniest really healthy actually and, <laughs> and the fact that you were a sophomore in high school <laughs> he was probably starving and like i don't want, like, I want a hot dog i want the, he would have been stoked about a hot ho, dog ho, ho, there's only two left <laughs> that's really that's funny so great um oh it, that one wasn't over we've been together oh. for 10 years now and we are married we laugh about that story all the that time that is so funny i love that so that much so great well we just that got a good really laugh funny. out of that i love that okay this one says i met a guy in holiday resort and told him i love to play tennis did it one time <laughs> because i wanted to be sporty and thought i would never see him again so it doesn't matter he said we should play tennis together the next day and booked it. I could not sleep that night because I was so nervous. <laughs> Luckily, all the courts were fully booked and we ended up playing table tennis instead. <laughs> Gosh. Lucky girl, because Lucky. tennis it's is not, not you cannot fake. Like you cannot, like the balls that will go so over the true. fence. I am so bad at tennis. I've played like two times, like with you. You're not bad. Sarah. You're not great, but you're I not bad. No one is good do when it. they've never done like, it. It's like, hit me the ball. Oh over the fence well why is it one so of those hard sports that's so technical that it's like you have to hit it right and have mm -hmm. the right grip and there's like so much more to it than people yeah. think they're like i can just go out there and hit the ball no it's it. not no, like that it's not it's like not that. like but that that's so funny <laughs> thinking you'd never see him again he's like let's play now <laughs> you're like okay uh the sweat beats actually, all play. night <laughs> oh that's good so i told my boyfriend at the time that i've never been flying before little did i know he was a pilot our second date he picked me up and took me to the air airstrip in town and took me flying by himself no while way. i have been on flights before i've never experienced that before and been right up front in the cockpit of his plane fits a total of six. Oh wait what was the lie that she had never been flying before but she did but then he like took her flying oh kind of cute kind of pearl really harbor cute. that is really cool and he like takes her up in the plane on their date yeah and like spins kinda, her around kind of cute kind of cute okay this says okay so it wasn't really a first date but i'd met a guy at a bar and he'd been talking to me for a while but i wasn't really a fan and i didn't want to offend him so i told him i had to go because i had had a baby three weeks <gasps> earlier and was breastfeeding so i couldn't say it for another drink i was 19 with no kids oh <laughs> my gosh that's, that's iconic so actually i am breastfeeding right immediately now. he's She's like 19, all right no i'm out <laughs> that's yeah. a great that's out honestly, right there you should use that yeah girls. a lot of men in the bars would run yeah i said i was in quotes wicked into football now I'm stuck playing in a fantasy league every year with his entire family. I'm just here for the food, but it's always entertaining <laughs> when I beat one of them knowing absolutely nothing about the sport. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. That's a really funny. I love these like little fibs that you just yeah. like carry on yes. because you're like, well, I'm not yes. telling him now. It'll really break his heart uh -huh. at this point. Um, I went to... I went to a line dancing venue with one of my friends thinking we were just hanging out. He apparently thought it was a date and treated it as a first date all night. It was super awkward all night. I told him that my mom wanted me home early and that one of our other friends had to bring me home. Also, that way I didn't have to have the awkward car ride home and potentially attempt a first kiss. We didn't talk too much after that. I feel <laughs> yeah. like he probably got the hint, which is maybe not a bad thing. But yeah that's you know? it's the worst i feel like a lot of i think i've done that before where i'm like give me a call like friend sos yeah. like like get this, me out of this, this date, date I'm is pretty so sure awkward I've done that yeah sometimes if it's not flowing like maybe he's grateful too yeah who knows yep um so i so it started before i even knew him i liked him for a while but he didn't like brunettes so i got on a dating app found him but used a black wig black wig which he liked he also liked blue eyes so i put in eye contacts that were blue anyway we get talking and we have a lot in common we really seem to like each other then he says let's go out i was terrified i had been lying to him for three months no we had never seen that's each a straight other. up catfish <laughs> we had never seen each other in person before let's just say it was the most humiliating date of my life and now we're married with three kids what Catfish Are turned to marriage. Catfish to marriage. Well, hey, he fell in love with your personality. No, literally, that's Licks, crazy. Different aside. hair, a wig, and eye contacts. Mm -hmm. 
That like changes your whole look. Well, he's probably like, what the freak? <laughs> you like show up. He's like, okay. All That's right. so funny. Unless she's still wearing the wig, still she's wearing the still contacts every, every day. day. Puts she it just, on before he wakes up. That's so funny. Well, hey, I'm glad it worked hey, out. Yeah. Good job. You. <laughs> okay. This one says some random guy from mutual took me to Zion national park to hike angels Landing. Mutual at is night. a mutual is a, um, a religious dating app. Dating app. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, this one's <laughs> took her to angels landing at night. Angels landing no, is no. such no, no, no. a sketchy hike as it is in the daylight. In the day, it's so sketchy. Um, and I didn't know that we were actually going to be hiking it. So I showed up in jeans and chucks no we started hiking it and halfway up my feet were killing me and i was so out of breath i did not mentally prepare to hike it so i was so out of shape so i looked at him and said can we stop i have asthma and i'm having a hard time breathing <laughs> i in fact do not have asthma <laughs> then i had him take me home and never talk to him again honestly that is a Are wild thing to take somebody me? on a first date that's so that, scary no that's so first dangerous. of all sketch you're meeting him from an app yeah taking you to angel's landing the sketchiest in the hike middle in the of middle nowhere? of night no no way honestly glad you got out of that yeah that sounds like a disaster waiting to happen sounds like what's i love called? that i have asthma <laughs> Take I have asthma. Uh, okay not breathing well i was on a first date with my stepsister's best friend's brother my, my stepsister's, stepsister's best friend best friend's brother, brother. okay my stepsis and his little sister set us up together. Mm. During small talk, he asked what part of town I lived in, and I told him. He said, oh, yeah, I'm close to that area, and started naming different apartment complexes, and I told him, I actually don't live in an apartment. My dad built me an apartment on the back of his property so that I can save money on rent while I'm in college. I actually live in a small shed in my dad's regular-sized backyard <laughs> and was too embarrassed to admit I hadn't moved out of my parents' house yet. <laughs> Later, I told him the truth, and now we're married. And no. it became a running joke that he saved me from living in a shed. <laughs> I you love guys, that. Guys, the amount of like There's marriage stories. There's always ending that marriage. Maybe, ending in marriage, baby. Maybe a little fib is the way to start the relationship. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, That's funny. hilarious. No. I was just embarrassed. I love he that built there's me an still apartment. running jokes. <laughs> like, I know. About saving him from shit. That's so funny. This one says, I lied that I wasn't feeling car sick when I was visibly sick on the way back. why is getting car sick it's so, so funny. funny to you like literally everyone getting car sick it's actually like the biggest it's because fear you don't feel just like it. what the heck well i feel it if i'm like looking at my phone and like being like a crazy the head that but you no. can feel it i feel like you i don't, don't. Feel it no no that. no no way oh my gosh that's so funny <laughs> i'm no, no no i'm not like completely white in the face just like yes, gonna barf yes this says <laughs> You just have to finish it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. I lied that I wasn't feeling car sick when I was visibly sick on the way back home after a first date. I thought I could make it home, but it came up minutes later that I was lying when I threw up. Oh, then we got pulled over for li littering because I threw up through the plastic cup with puke in a field. Oh my gosh, you got pulled over? Why did you not just pull over for the yark? What are the odds? For the yark and yeah. bark. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, why did you throw up in a, in a cup? cup? <laughs> oh, just because she didn't want to admit it. She was like holding back to the last second. That's so sad. That feeling is there's nothing worse than feeling like you have to barf and then feeling like you have to be like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I remember. Sick. I remember being young feeling this. Okay. So I was sick one time and I didn't know I was sick, obviously, but I was with my cousins and I was really young mm -hmm. and we were in the car and I remember having the thought like either right now I'm going to let out the biggest fart in front of everyone oh my God. <laughs> or I will barf. Oh my, <laughs> I oh my God! I can remember it to this day. I was so young. I was so young and I can still vividly remember the thought process going through my head. Like, should I just let out a big effing fart right now? Or should I ask for, <laughs> for them to pull debacle. over? Cause I'm going to barf. <laughs> so what'd you do? So what did you do? First of all, I, <laughs> I told him, I just said, hey, I think I'm going to barf. I just said it like so quiet and nonchalant. They're like, what? And I'm like, I think I'm going to barf. And they immediately just like pulled over oh, and I got out. God. Luckily, she had like a baggie. And I just got out in some random person's lawn. 
and just like barfed outside in the car but luckily i made it out of the car but i remember that forever like am i gonna fart or am i gonna barf i don't know horrible i'll remember that forever (laughs) it was terrible i did barf that's horrible oh i hate being sick uh okay this one says i'm getting married september 14th to this man but have always (laughs) withheld that i got his snap from our mutual friend so i could ask him for another co-worker snap he what? was so nice to me when we started snapping that i didn't have the b-a-l-l-s <laughs> as low says um, <laughs> do to, i spell it out <laughs> you do yes you have done that to it's because sometimes i think that i'm gonna get like flagged if i say something <laughs> not me just saying ass on here and then you spelling out balls <laughs> oh my gosh <sighs> um, to ask for the other guy's snap because i didn't want to to not have the chance with this guy with the nice guy i love the nice guy now but used to like the other guy who was actually not so not nice p.s i love y'all yeah you, you ended up with the nice guy because yes. they're better the mean guys suck Lo's clapping her little hands. I do not know why I'm shedding so much. I'm so sorry. You have dumped the amount of hair you've dumped. I think it's because my hair's been in claw clips for the last five days. Oh, no. Don't no. tell me that because mine's been in the claw clip for two days. No, no, not that that was damaging it. But you know how hair falls out every yeah. day. Like, I just I haven't like been. that it falls out every day. The amount of hair that comes out of my brush when yeah, I brush it, I think I'm going to look in the mirror and be bald. Yeah. Your hair's also darker now, though, so you see it more. Yeah. Yeah. This one says told a hot firefighter i was okay to date someone with kids it wasn't until he showed up to my house to pick me up for our first date that the reality set in i couldn't even face him and told him via text i couldn't date him because he had kids i was 20 newly single and 100 percent delulu <laughs> i still feel horrible about it i hope he found a nice girl oh, i'm sure he no, did i feel like he like people that have kids understand yeah it's a lot to jump into yeah when they're dating some like dating people that don't have kids like it is a lot yeah especially being like a young 20 20 year old like i wouldn't feel bad about that that you just didn't want that at the time at the time maybe he was hot Mm -hmm. and you were like yeah i could totally do it and then you're like actually never mind (laughs) all right this says um i told a fib that i liked fishing he loved fly fishing so he took me fishing for a first real date and i held the fish and everything I was trying to be the fun girl that got out and did stuff and was trying to impress him because I thought he was cute. (laughs) It definitely came up later because we are now married and he still loves to fish, but I definitely don't. He teases me about it all the time. That's really funny. The fishing girl. The outdoorsy girl. Uh Um, This one says, my sister got set up on a blind date while her boyfriend was on a mission, so she didn't want to go. When he came to pick her up, she sent my other sister on the date. He looked so confused (laughs) picking her up because she looked nothing like the picture he'd seen. Needless to say, they were no follow-up dates. That is crazy. Just the swap. The blind date? Wait. That's so funny. That is so funny. She's like, actually, I don't want to go. Sister? (laughs) Sister? That's a good sister to go for you. Seriously. Okay, guys, this is the last one. The last melon. Um, It says, my husband invited me to his best friend's wedding reception as his plus one for our third date. We had been talking for a month. He was a groomsman, so he was going early. I asked him if they needed any help setting up, but he told me to just arrive when the reception started. He told me a later start time. Turns out he wanted to have a little time at the wedding without me there in case things went sour so he could have good memories of the wedding. (gasps) Stop. We had our first kiss that night and now he's my husband. Stop. I found out he lied when we were later reminiscing on the night. Honestly, I wasn't mad. I just thought it was funny because now we're married, but hindsight is 2020. 2020. That is actually very smart on his part. That is smart. I'm thinking about how Derek took me on the first date to your guys' wedding. And I'm like, what if like I was psychopath or like we just or if it didn't work or like we broke up later and like always had to remember that i was at the at the tanner's bread wedding with you you know what i mean like that would have been crazy like his own brother's wedding yeah was like (laughs) i'm so glad you were there but it's like crazy because that because we ended up together and this was their third date so it totally makes sense that is yeah because they didn't have they had their first kiss that night oh yeah so it's like a similar situation as you guys but Derek was like come to everything i'm like literally i hope this works literally i wonder if your parents thought or if derek and tanner's parents thought about that like when he's bringing some random girl like what if 
this ends badly and then she's like at all the family things i think for sure i'd think about it as a mom yeah crazy but i didn't think about but it as like a bride say no. yeah that's true <laughs> i was like i don't well, care like, it's your wedding day yeah anyway okay that was so fun yes i, I love i love that the majority of them were like we're all married now like yeah you know? that was so funny the so, hot dog so one really tickled me that was funny. like going back <laughs> being like you want a little snacky you're like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> want some carrots yeah i have some carrots would you like some kale on the side kale <laughs> oh my gosh that was too good thank really you guys good. Thank always you. for submitting these because it makes the episodes go around so fun make some fun and worth it it, it feels and like we're like getting to know you guys yeah. too with the submissions i love like the way you word things yeah it's yes. fun it's so great anyway next time you might see us in some some outfits some costumes yeah. we shall see we shall see okay <laughs> love you guys love see you guys. next thanks time thanks for watching or listening bye <laughs>